Nick Clooney and Eyewitness 12 News. They get involved. Live from WKRC-TV, it's the Ira Joe Fisher Show. <laughs> now, here's Ira Joe. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Well, how nice to see you. And again, as we've often said, since we're in this kind of business, how nice to be seen, you know? We're glad you're here. Has this been an exciting week or what? This has been an exciting week. Do you agree? Yeah. Oh, good. <laughs> we're chatting backstage. We have on our program today, Kenny Price is going to be out here in just a matter of moments. Sure, go ahead. Don't hesitate. Yeah. Buddy Ross is here. Bonnie Lou is here. Colleen Sharp is with us. Marge Dixon is going to join us this morning. And I want to introduce to you some friends of yours, the Bruce Brownfield Trio, ladies and gentlemen. There's Bruce. And, let's, well, come on, let's get a shot here of Marvin and Jerry, for heaven's sake. Marvin Cox on drums, there we go. And Jerry Haggerty, all right. This sounds wonderful. We're glad you guys are here. And we're glad that, you're glad that you folks are here, too. We're going to take a break right now. When we come back, we're going to chat with the round mound of sound, Mr. Kenny Price. Don't go away. Don't go away. Presented by NBC from the studios of WLW Television here in Cincinnati, Ohio. Yes, folks, from the center of the Midwest, from the rolling hills of the Ohio Valley, from Cincinnati, Ohio, it's your Midwestern Hayride. We want you all to join us on the Hayride tonight. There'll be folk music, hillbilly tunes, the kind of musical Americana that's native to the great Midwest. And, of course, there'll be plenty of that homespun hayride humor on tap. Yes, sir, it's a full hour of the kind of all-American... It's morning, and to start your day off right, you need to know what's going on in the tri-state and the rest of the world. There's no better way than by watching the Eyewitness 12 News Morning Report with Kid Andrews and Glenn Ryle, and ABC's World News This Morning with Steve Bell and Kathleen Sullivan every weekday morning at 6. In 60 minutes, you get a complete blend of local and national news, the information you need at the time you need it. The Eyewitness 12 News Morning Report and ABC's World News This Morning, weekdays at 6 on WKRC Channel 12. The Ira Joe Fisher Show's Salute to Cincinnati Television is brought to you in part by your neighborhood Kroger store. Oh, yes. Thank you, Rich. Good morning. We are right now going to be chatting with a fellow who has, uh, wow, been really a, a big part of Cincinnati's television history and now a large part of our program, too. Ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome, please, Mr. Kenny Price. <laughs> How you doing, gang? Oh, Joe. Good to see you. Good to be here. Terrific. Please be comfortable. All right. All right. Please be comfortable. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean that comfortable for everybody. Uh, uh. <laughs> How are you? Uh, heavy. <laughs> but uh, I feel kind of nice, you know, know. being you, on the show with you. You know, the staff's really worried about this couch with you and me on it. You know that? They, they express some concern here ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, what do you it'll, think? It'll be okay. I think it'll be, it'll be just okay. fine. For, uh, I, I, you know, I have set the precedence for uh, heavy folks in television in this area. And I'm grateful to you. Yeah, I, that's what I was not, I didn't want to say it like that. <laughs> Change. <laughs> What's well, early? It is early. It is early out there. Yeah. Have you noticed that? Yeah. You're one of the few people, uh, especially from Cincinnati, that have, in fact, been in my hometown, Little Valley, New York. We discovered that just seconds ago. Played in fair. Cattaraugus County Fair. That's it. There I'm you glad go. you pronounced that. I never yeah. could have said that. Well, Cattaraugus? That's right. It's an Indian word. It means town without a Kmart. Um, it's an old joke. Yeah. It <laughs> <Let's talk>. work. <laughs> it did. It did. They loved it. Now, uh, let's talk about this. You started here at WLW in 1949. Is that right? I got my chronology nah. correct? That's wrong. Oh. I graduated from high school in 1949. Oh, all right. 
And, uh, Wait a minute, I thought Kenny Price was coming out. I'm sorry, we have the wrong. I started, I, you know, I worked another station. There was a show oh, called right, the Midday Merry-Go-Round. WCPO. And I was uh, a steel guitar player. and Not much of anything, but I was, hey, I'm on again. Oh. <laughs> uh, I was wondering if we were on. Or I was, all of a sudden, whoa. Uh, no, I was, uh, I, you know, I started, but then I went to the service. I was uh, a GI, I went to the Korean War, uh -huh. 1951 and came back from the service and uh, needed employment very badly. Yeah. Uh, you know, your former employer is supposed to give you your job back That's when right. you're going to serve. That's right, I remember hearing that when I went And I was a farmer, and I came home, and Dad sold the farm. So, uh, Did you sue him? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> they can't so, be doing that. Yeah. Huh? So I, I, I auditioned uh, one of the just walk-in, off-the-street type things at WLW in 1954. And yeah, that's when that we went. 54, I went to WLW. And Midwestern Hayride. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And you were with that show until 1973. 72. 72, when it, it was uh, canceled, I guess, because of Hee Haw coming yeah. into being, right? Yeah. What did you say at the time? I said, well, you can't fight them, join them. <laughs> <laughs> so I motivated on down to Nashville and became a part of the Hee Haw show, which I've been on for 15 years now. Isn't that something? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, there's a picture of me there. There you go. That's uh, the one on the left. Yeah, that you, you on the left. Yeah. <laughs> Who's your buddy on the that's, right there? That's uh, that's my my daughter <laughs> on television. <laughs> that's Linda Thompson. Yeah. And uh, we do the little spot called The Farmer's Daughter on the show. Now, I want to talk for a second, too, about your great show on the Nashville Network. Wish you were here that you do with your lovely wife, Donna, who is here with us in the studio, too. You got it. Let's have a little wave from Donna. Hey, Donna. There's there Donna. Can that. you see Donna, TJ? Get a camera on that, would you? <laughs> You know what has been fun all this week, Kenny, is talking about this wonderful history that Cincinnati has and represents Terrific. in our industry. Were you aware of it? Well, you know, at the time, I was in country music. I've been in country music, you know, really since the start, maybe. I don't know. But I, I remember listening to the WSM broadcast when I was a kid, you know, uh -huh. uh, the Grand Ole Opry. And I always had an idea that that's what I really wanted to do. I wanted to be a, a country music performer. Uh -huh. And... So I did. Yeah. <laughs> it worked. It obviously and, uh, has worked. So, uh, you know, when I became a member of the, of the staff at WLW on Midwestern Hayride, it was a, uh, it was a really a training ground. I, th I call that my training ground because I got a lot of, uh, I worked with a lot of professional people there that were established, you know, sure. Bonnie Lou and uh, uh, Buddy Ross and uh, a lot of the musicians, a lot of people. And I became a, a, a uh, it was a good training ground for me. You honed your craft there. Yeah. <laughs> well, let's look at, uh, and by the way, you have recorded 27 RCA Victor albums, and this is... Uh, Not all RCA, but a lot of oh, them Oh, they were? RCA. I thought they were. I started out Boone Records. Oh, yeah. Which was a little company we had Sheriff of Boone County. You, you, and a heap, you and a heap of trouble, boy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the couch rumbled on that huh. one. Yeah. Come on, remember that one. <laughs> oh, you bet. <laughs> this is Kenny's latest album. It's called simply... And delightfully, Kenny Price, Gospel. There it is. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. And we're going to share with you the information on how to obtain this album. You can't buy it in the store, is that right? No, we, uh, we've been so successful with the Hee Haw Gospel album, which I'm a member of the Hee Haw Gospel Quartet. That's right. And uh, we've been so successful with that album. We've had, we had two albums out. And just by mail order, we've sold uh, pretty close to a million albums. Gee, that's and, fantastic. Uh, we're very happy that people like the gospel music on our show, and that's uh, and I've had a lot of requests to do a gospel album, just me. Mm -hmm. So I did. Isn't that nice? <laughs> and that's it's great. available. So, you call uh, us on the telephone after the show. We'll tell you how to go about obtaining Kenny's album. Now, thank you for a while. No, Appreciate my pleasure. It. We're delighted to have you here. What we're going to do right now is chat with a former boss of yours and a longtime colleague. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we are going to meet Buddy Ross. Stay hey, with us. all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is fun. Let me tell you, we have with us today, of course, a real cast of wonderful people. And I would like to introduce to you now, yes, a fellow who for a while was, in fact, the boss, Kenny Price. Ladies and gentlemen, Buddy Ross. All right. Hi. 
you know, I never gained any weight all these 70 some years, but this thing's gained weight every day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Bruce, it's nice to see you and all the gang here. Oh, I'm all right. Let me see, this starts. Uh, you got a tune up, buddy? What is no, it? No, this starts six from this end. Yeah, right uh, above the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Start starting rope. <laughs> Sit down and be comfortable. You can get a little closer to Kenny. Well, you know I each it other. Was, uh, hard to get close to him. <laughs> uh, it's uh, That's what Donna said. It, it was <laughs> this time of the year. I thought that would just fit. Well, that was wonderful. And I felt safe playing it with my friend over there, Bruce. Isn't he? Wonderful? He taught me the tunes. I wish he could yeah. have afforded an entire piano, though. That's the only thing. You know, look at that. Yeah. Dark. Well, now, buddy, welcome to the program. We are so happy to have you here. The pride of Oshkosh, Wisconsin. <laughs> you were born on a dairy farm. That's right. Isn't that wonderful? So and my, uh, my dad was a professional violinist. Mm -hmm. And uh, a lot of people ask, was anybody in the family that was, uh, was, anybody was a family musician, musician, you know? And my dad was the only one. Yeah. And that farmhouse is, <laughs> farmhouse is still there. And when I was eight years old, I had a Montgomery Ward accordion. And we'd sit on that front porch and play. Yeah. We'd have a jam session. Isn't that great? But people would gather all around and they'd bring their ukuleles, juice harp, and sing for a jam session. So you but, to uh, but learn, Joe, to, learn to play the music yeah, that way. But Joe, in every everyday life, there's always somebody that don't like you. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And they'd hide behind the trees, the cedar trees, and throw stones at us. <laughs> the neighbors would do that? Throw stones at you. Many a night, Joe, Dad and I sat out there on that front porch and got stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Buddy, now I want to ask you one question. Yeah. Is it true the day that you went to WOW to first go to work or to audition that before you left you had to milk 12 cows? I milked 12 cows. It took me two days to get to Cincinnati to, uh, to get there because I got lost all the time. Okay. And then, uh, then I joined that staff in 37. And it turned out to be a steady job to well, 30 I'm, years. I'm glad. Yeah, Midwestern Hayride working with this guy and a lot of other great people. 
I was his boss one day. I know that. And then, you know, his first day, he was late. <laughs> Did you uh, fire him? He was late today, too. Yeah, he, he was, was late today. Late today. <laughs> we had like, you know, we had a, uh, a traffic coming in, you know, and I forgot about that because for many, for many, uh, for about three years, we came to McAlpin's every morning to do the uh, Nick radio Nick. show. Well, it was Nick and uh, Bob Brown yeah. on the Good Morning Show. In the show. tea room. At the tea room at McAlpin's. And that traffic was always that way, you know. And I forgot about that, but we got it again this morning. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we did. On the way in. Traffic hasn't gotten yeah, any better. Yeah. Well, we're glad that you're both here. We're going to take a, a break, uh, pay a couple of bills, and when we come back, we're going to have some yodeling <laughs> with Bonnie Lou. All right. Ah, uh, there's a nice memory. Paul Dixon and Colleen and Bonnie Lou. Colleen's here as well. Is going to be joining us in a moment. Kenny Price and Buddy Ross are with us. And now to join us out here and also to perform for you, ladies and gentlemen, a woman that you're going to really, really enjoy hearing from again. Would you welcome, please, Bonnie Lou? <laughs> You look like you like you do on television. You really do. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Hello, Clifford. I mean, Bruce. Oh, see? Sorry, right off. I was with Clifford yesterday. Bruce, you ready, gentlemen? You're going to give me a good introduction or something, all that? All right. Out on the mountain, so happy and free, there lives a boy who is waiting for me. Out on the lake we will drift with the tide Hear those chime bells ring Chime bells ring Oh, the Mockingbird singing Oh, the hoody, oh, the Sleep, my little lover The Special report from ABC News in Iceland Just as seen, uh, General Secretary Gorbachev arrive in Iceland. Of course, ABC will continue its coverage of the uh, pre-summit that is happening this weekend in Reykjavik. Now we are going to get back to <laughs> Bonnie Lou, whose song was interrupted by the report That's we right. just received. All right? I don't mind. You're very Maybe sweet. Friday. Bonnie Lou, ladies and gentlemen. Out on the mountain, so happy and free, there lives a boy who is waiting for me. Out on the lake, we will drift with the tide. Hear those chime bells ringing, chime bells are ringing, oh dear, dear, dear. mockingbird singing, oh dear, 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 dear. sleep my little lover, he ate it, upon a summer's eve. Hi, little, oh dear, 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 Moonbeams were shining as I kissed him there. Night birds were singing, perfume filled the air. Each little star just twinkled with glee while heaven shined on me. Chime bells are ringing, oh dear, dear. Mockingbirds singing, oh dear, 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 dear. Sleep, my little lover, yeah, dear, dear, dear. Upon a summer's eve, Cincinnati's hottest music. You get the Q Morning Zoo with Fox and O'Brien. Shively with the news and the Squirrel Report. You never know what those guys are going to do. The Q Morning Zoo with Fox and O'Brien. You'll laugh till it hurts.
ladies and gentlemen, would you welcome, please, Colleen Sharp. Hello. Good morning. Just give me a little vamp, Bruce. You know, Paul always made us do the same songs over and over again. If it was good on Monday, it was good again on Tuesday, right? And you knew what was coming all the time. Wasn't that fun? On a wonderful day like today, I defy any cloud to appear in the sky. Dare any raindrop to pull up in my eye. On a wonderful day like today, on a wonderful morning like this, when the sun is as big as a yellow balloon, even the sparrows are singing in tune on a wonderful day like today. And if that's not loving you, then all I've got to say is God did make little green apples. It don't rain in Indianapolis in the summertime. And there's no such thing as Dr. Seuss, Disneyland and Mother Goose is no nursery rhyme. My knees are knocking. God did make little green apples, and it don't snow in Minneapolis when the winter comes. And when my heart is feeling low, I think about his face aglow to ease my mind. You remember this one. Lay your head. Upon my pillow Lay your warm and tender body Close to mine We don't do this song in too many church services Hear the whisper Of the raindrop Blowing soft Against the window Make One more time for the good time. Then you will remember this. May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. May the helmet caress you with his toe. May your wife be plagued with runners in her hose. May the bird of paradise fly up your nose. 9.95 plus tax delivered from Hyde Park Flowers. Amen. Colleen, wonderful. Yes, Wasn't yes. that wonderful? Oh. Thank you. Please be seated. Oh, well, we were going to have a little bit more time to chitter-chatter here, for heaven's sake. I know. How happy we are to have you here. Isn't this Thank fun? You. It, it is fun. Is. You sound we appreciate wonderful. it so much. We appreciate your being here. Thank are you, you kidding? For heaven's sake. I want to find out, first of all, you did not learn to yodel. You were born knowing how to well, yodel. Yes. Bonnie My Lou. grandmother came from Switzerland. Switzerland. And... Uh, so that's how I learned to yodel. I mean, I just inherited it, yeah. you know, sort of natural, like going out after the cows. And that's when I learned to yodel. <laughs> now, I heard somebody said that you really did call the cows in that way by yodeling. Yeah, that's just, well, not that's really. Not I didn't call the cows in, but I, would be, I was sort of embarrassed, so I would yodel out in the woods, you know, going What after were you the embarrassed cows. about, Bonnie? I don't know. I, well, I scared the birds away, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> the birds of paradise? Yeah, they the birds Colleen. of paradise. Yeah. Yeah, you so. like Swiss cheese? Yes, I love Swiss I've cheese. I've always wondered why Swiss cheese has got all them holes for ventilation when Limburger needs it so bad. <laughs> <laughs> I really don't know, Jen, uh, buddy. Buddy, oh, that's dear. A, a wonderful question. I'm glad that came up for heaven. I am too. Buddy has some unique no. talent. No touchy, I know you're a star. Boy, <laughs> I wish you'd get up a little bit because you're sitting on my hand here. Oh, <laughs> I wonder what that was. Oh, yeah. oh I just feel well, better. I I am right in a crack. <laughs> it's an awfully public appearance going yeah, on here. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Um, oh, oh. Yeah, no, Kenny, you stay here now. Don't be... Colleen, how do you feel about all of this? <laughs> I think it's a wonderful show. I'm having a good time. Oh, yeah. 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 Was the yeah. last couple of seconds included? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Well, I know Buddy, you see, um, and I know Bonnie both yeah. very well. 
and they were terrific together. This whole group. But you don't so know good. me, girl. Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. Yeah. I know you very I, well. I, I remember we used to do the uh, uh, show in uh, in Dayton. Well, no, wait, we did Columbus. One in, in we did Columbus. a syndicated did game the, show. The game show. Yeah. We'd all go up and Collie was on it, and a lot of the Hayride group, yeah. and it was a. It played bingo with the cards yeah. in the grocery store. And yeah. You went and, and you went We did anything for money. Did I don't know. I, <laughs> the reason I gained all the weight. Right. Well, well, a lot of grocery stores. Well, I shows. understand. Me too. I know what you mean, Kenny. We're going to take a break. When we come back, we're going to have a very, very special memory and a tribute to the Paul Dixon Show from our city. <laughs> It's now the Kroger brand sale. Wow. Save 10 to 20 percent compared to national brands. Wow. And Kroger guarantees you'll be satisfied every time. Mm. Kroger whole kernel or cream style corn, three for a dollar. Kroger cut or French style green beans, three for a dollar. And Kroger sweet peas, three cans for a dollar. Yeah. Feel the difference. Go Kroger. Cincinnati Television, and uh, it is something certainly has been on our mind and in our heart for a number of years. You have to talk about Paul Dixon, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to reminisce about the Paul Dixon show right now. Would you welcome, please, Marge Dixon? Hi, Marge. Sit down and be comfortable. What's going on here, Kenny? I got tangled up in my <laughs> rope. Gee, where is everybody? Poor buddy was sitting on my. Buddy, you're sitting on a lot of things here. <laughs> Marge, welcome to the program. Thank you. We are Great so to honored you. to have you here. And before we go any further, we want you to know that Pam Sibsey is here. Pam Dixon Sibsey as well. Uh, yeah. Let's give a little wave for Pam there. <laughs> this Our is. Baby. Yeah, yeah there's baby. your baby, and there she is. We are so happy to have you here. Let's reminisce for a moment about the wonderful Paul Dixon years. He was quite a guy. And of some a person that we all... I married him. I know you did. <laughs> you were the first person to really recognize Why, that quality. You met at a high school dance in Iowa. You have been snooping. Uh, well, I you? certainly yeah. have, Marge. I've done uh, my homework here. Did you have any idea when you saw that guy? What was he playing drums in a band or something? Yeah, he was pretty good. Yeah, he darn was, good. You know how great he was in I the group. <laughs> yeah. Did on the drums all and guitar, especially yeah. good on oh, the guitar, yeah. yes. Did yeah. you did you have any any <laughs> he hint? He put it on like a girdle. <laughs> Marge, did you have any hint that it was going to become the phenomenal success that it was? Cincinnati, you lived in New York for a while, a syndicated show. Well, sure, I always knew he had great stuff. All he needed to do was push it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. He did it. Yeah. 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 He what, did what, the pushing. Is that right? You were you he went were up out of the damp. Basement. I he got him up out of there now and then. Sure. Did he really sleep in a damp basement? Doesn't everyone? <laughs> well, I guess no. there are times. <laughs> we're going to share with you now a really precious moment in which you were all involved, too, not long ago. Right? Yeah. Yeah, wait till you see this, Bonnie Lou. Oh. Uh, this is the famous or is it infamous chicken oh, wedding oh, wow. on the Paul oh, Dixon yeah. show. Here we go. Oh. And you girls, how do you feel about the whole thing? Oh, we're so... so <laughs> terrible. I just... I just I just, I'll miss them so. What? I'll miss them so. <laughs> they just, they just like sister brother. <laughs> Always said we're for the. I know, I know. I know. We have had them around here for a long time, haven't we? We dress, dress them little things a million times. I put her girdle and bra on forty-two times. <laughs> enjoyed every little inch. What? You always said, boy, are you anxious? You always said that. Yeah, you always said, do you remember that living bra she got the die? Yeah, I did. Well, we got to do it. Let's call the whole thing off and keep them, shall we? Shall we keep them? 
That entire affair was complete with a wedding invitation and photographs and uh, people to give away the bride, and it was uh, quite an event. It was people better love. than our wedding. <laughs> <laughs> people took days of vacation to see this. We built it up so long, and people actually took a day off from work. It was probably the, maybe one of the highest rated shows ever in the city. Well, it, was, it was just absolutely phenomenal, and Paul, of course, presiding as mayor of Neesville at the time. You kind of shunned the spotlight, though, Marge. I always do. Yeah. Now, why is that? Paul was the entertainer, and uh, you were behind the scenes? Yeah, I was the worker. Yes. <laughs> I had to do all the housework and get the car polished. And you did that? to get him to go out to work. <laughs> You're such a great American, Marge. I didn't oh, realize I you did know. all of those things. Yeah. I'm retired, you? though, now. Yeah. Now, you, poultry played a big part in the Dixon family life. Tell us about the time Paul brought home a live turkey. Oh, would you Would you share that story with us? How many minutes have you? Well, actually, <laughs> about a few seconds. Uh, it was a live turkey. Did you ever try to get rid of a live turkey? Never did. I've certainly polished <laughs> off a few dead ones, but... Uh, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, you, know, you know about that, Kevin. Well, not even the orphanages would take it. Yeah. Nobody wanted it. What did you finally do? Well, I put in bed with Paul down in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> he came home with a feather on his lapel, is uh -huh. that what you're saying? <laughs> well, this is fun and uh, uh, abbreviated, unfortunately. What we're going to do, though, is take another brief break. We'll have more with our very special guest when we come back. Stay with us. <laughs> now, during General Electric's Million Dollar Replacement Sale. See your GE Premier Dealer, Wrecker & Burger, Cincinnati, and Swallens, all locations. Isn't it is fun? This is fun. I'm just enjoying watching this whole thing unfold. It's, it's really wonderful. something, really something. Now, uh, Bonnie, what are you up to right now? Well, let's see, what am I up to? I, I have a radio show at WPSB in Middletown. Uh-huh. I'm up there every... Uh, Saturday from yes. noon until one o'clock, the Bonnie Lou show, all playing right. all the greatest country records, and then I'm out with my husband at his furniture store a couple days a week. You know, we might need to get office. a new couch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. So we might be out to see you. Right, right, right. Well, he supplied all the love seats for, for Paul Baby. Yeah. You know, on the show, <laughs> or he used to take the girls up and sing. Sure. You're nobody till somebody loves you. Where did the name Paul Baby come from, Marge? Well, I think I'm correct on this. Uh, one of the prop boys wasn't exactly on time. And Paul was balling him out, right? Mm -hmm. And he delivered whatever he was supposed to deliver and said, There you go, Paul, baby. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> and it's that stuck. It? stuck. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Colleen, what are you up to in this day and age? I just lost this thing. Oh, you That's... did? It'll be, it won't go anyplace oh, really? It's all right. We have to <laughs> hold on to that. we got to get it back to Radio Shack by 11. Um, <laughs> oh, I passed it on the way home. <laughs> Holly, what's going on in your life? Well, um, my husband and I have a, a new church over on the east side of Cincinnati. My husband's pastoring a church there. It's brand new. It's only two weeks old. Oh. It's going very, very wow. well. And uh, we're really happy about that. We meet at David's Buffet on Sunday mornings at 10 o'clock. Oh, right. And not to eat until lunch, but they have to listen first, and then they get to eat. I see. <laughs> All right. That'll hold an audience. Yes, Mark. Well, you've been so great all week. You've had all these people here and been so gracious and give them flowers to wear. I think it's only proper you should have something oh, as a gift that be fitting to you. Well, that's real sweet of you. I'm a nice girl. Is it ticking? No. Not yet. No. Only when you open it. Yeah. Don't be so neat to just like Oh, it. okay, I'm sorry. Pogues, this is an old gift. <laughs> Okay, what have we here? What is this? Are you kidding? I'll tear it out. No, no you this won't. This is not my size. It really stretches. You should see the shapes that <laughs> no. we put this Bonnie on. Bonnie will never make it. Oh, Bonnie no. <laughs> Oh, well, well let's let's just check the size out here. Pop. M? Yeah, it should have been that a large. Miracle. Wow. Miracle. Mir Mir <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. This will look nice on my nine-month-old little girl, Ashley. I <laughs> yeah, think that's what that'll right. get. 
Uh, but I really, I really, I'm, I'm thrilled. This is going to go up on the wall at the office is what it is. And I thought now what we ought to do is go to a nice little song that yeah. you're going to sing oh, for us. Okay. Thank you, Marge. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so excited to have this. Colleen Sharp and Bonnie Lou, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Well, you're nobody till somebody loves you. You're nobody till somebody really cares. You may be king, you may possess, well, the world, the world and its gold. The gold won't bring you happiness oh, when you're growing old. Here we go. Well, the world, the world is still the same, still the same. You'll never change You'll it. never, never, never change it. As sure as, sure as, as the stars. As the stars. One in four teens drops out. Keep an academically worthy but financially deprived kid in high school. Call the Cincinnati Scholarship Foundation, 369-4032. Can you chip up a little bit, Pete? I just want to take a couple of minutes here to share with you some words that uh, we wanted to share with you. We'll never forget this week. It has let us touch and treasure the memories that you have of television in our city. And television is a lot like a person. It is at its best when it's remembered at its best, and we have had the best right here, right at home. I really want to thank WLWT Channel 5 and WCPO Channel 9 for sharing with us so that we could share with you these memories. A special memory of our history continues to this day with the Ruth Lyons Children's Christmas Fund, which I hope you will continue to support. I hope that with all my heart. It's a good example, the fund is of television at its best, helping children helping people, and doing so just because it's good. And I guess that's why we presented this special week on this show, the show that I love with all my heart. We've done it because it's good to remember. Reliving the history of this little tiny screen in this lovable old town, it proves that there are people, real human beings, inside of this box where we make our home, and we know that you are people, real human beings and friends, watching what we do. We didn't include everybody who ought to be here. We couldn't. God and geography and the moving of the years have seen to that. But it has been so good to once again see Ruth Lyons, Paul Dixon, Bob Braun, Nick Clooney, Glenn Ryle, Bob Shreve, Bill Nimmo, Len Gorian, Mary Wood, Marion Spellman, Ruby Wright, Cliff Lash, Rob Braun, Nancy James, Mary Ellen Tanner, Rob Ryder, Walt Mayer, Dee Felice, Al Lewis, Wanda Lewis, Mark Preston, Kenny Price, Buddy Ross, Bonnie Lou, Colleen Sharp, Marge Dixon, Teddy Rakel, and Bruce Brownfield. It's been good to see all of you again, and it's good to remember you. And I hope this week says to all of you and each of you, we'll never forget. Thank you and bless you. Thank you for this. The Ira Joe Fisher Show salute to Cincinnati Television is brought to you in part by your neighborhood Kroger store. Guests of the Ira Joe Fisher Show stay at the Hyatt Regency, Cincinnati, downtown's newest luxury hotel. Transportation provided by Washington Limousine Service. Piano courtesy of Willis Music Company. Thank you.